Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am going to be sharing my Sephora VIB sale haul with you guys. Um, I do have a little bit more coming still, but I wanted to be sure to get this video posted for you guys because the sale ends November 9th. Um, so I wanted to share what I've gotten so far. And Leo is... <laughs> literally in my lap in the box so it might be a little interesting but let's go ahead and jump into this haul okay so the first thing i got was this dr jart cairo rubber with moisturizing hyaluronic acid mask um so it's one of those where you kind of like uh pop the container open and then put it on the mask um so i am <laughs> i'm excited to try this one out i have tried some of their like rubber masks but i haven't tried this one before so i was curious to test it out and obviously with hyaluronic acid we're gonna get a lot of moisture um and with the changing of the seasons i can always use more moisture so excited to test this one out um the next thing I got was, this is an older palette, but I didn't purchase it when it was released. Um, this is the Anastasia Soft Glam palette. I'll go ahead and open it. Um, and I did, when I was doing my makeup today, I did use a lot of the products in the box. Um, so that way you guys can see kind of how they perform. Um, so this is gently used but this is what it looks like. And it's a lot of just like everyday shades, but then they have like the deepening shades that you can really kind of amp up any look with. Um, and then of course you get the double ended brush. I never ever use these. I have a few of these and I never use them, um, but they are pretty good brushes. I just don't really like double-ended brushes. Probably because I store my brushes in like a, uh, like glass, so they're upright, but, but yeah, this is what they look like. Um, I do have it on my eyes today. Very pigmented, super easy to blend out, a little bit goes a long way. Um, I will definitely get good use out of this one. So good first impression on that one. Okay, the next is a new product, and that is the Hourglass Ambient Edit Mini Sculpture Unlocked Palette, I guess. Um, and this is what it looks like. Hourglass has the most beautiful packaging. Um, like when you get something, if you've never purchased anything from Hourglass, if you get something from them, you're just like, it's gonna feel luxurious when you get it. it it's just beautiful packaging. So um, I used this today. So of course it's all dirty. I tried to wipe it off a little bit, but it's that signature gold packaging. Um, nice and sturdy packaging. You'll know that like if you're gonna travel, everything will be protected. And it always has a nice big mirror. So this is what this looks like. Um, so you get like a bronzing shade, a blush shade, a highlight shade and then this is just kind of like a diffused shimmer powder that you can put all over or if you're not wanting like a blinding highlight then you can go for something like this which is much more subtle but still gives you like a glow like you can see the highlight here is nice and vibrant because I used this one, but if you wanted something a little more diffused, um, this is really good. This is also good for um, just like the higher points of your face that you don't necessarily want to put like a blinding highlight on, but you do want to emphasize. Um, it's also the diffused um, ambient light powders from 
hourglass are also really good for like mature skin if you're not wanting like that high intensity highlight something like this is going to be a great option for you so love this palette so beautiful um and the pan sizes are pretty good like you can see how big it is next to like the palm of my hand like it's bigger than the palm of my hand um so you can actually use like your regular brushes you don't have to use like a smaller brush with it love that one okay next this was a miss for me Okay, so this is, I don't know how you say this brand, Muggler, Mugler, I don't know. But this is their Alien perfume. I'll just show you the box and the brand is on the bottom there. Um, this is their Alien perfume. I got this in a travel size because I wasn't sure if I was going to like it. And I don't. And I can't smell it now. Yeah because I currently have COVID, yay. But I have lost my sense of smell and taste, so I can't even smell it right now. But um, it smells like, no offense to older women, but it has like that signature old lady smell. And I'm just not looking for that. That's not really my vibe. But I was so surprised because so many people have been talking about this perfume lately and how they're like, it just smells so good. Like, my boyfriend loves this scent. And I'm like, really? No. 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 I don't care if any man likes it. No, I am not going to smell like that. So that is going to go back. <laughs> um, yeah, for sure. Not for me. Okay, the next thing I got is also from Dr. Jart, and this is the Ceramidin, I think is how you say it, uh, cream. So this is just a moisturizer, um, and this is supposed to be really good for dry skin. Um, I started a new retinol, and I knew with like the changing of the seasons, well one, it's a medical grade retinol, so I figured I would dry out a little bit more, um, but then also with the changing of the seasons, I'm going to get a little bit drier in the winter, so I figured I needed a different moisturizer to test out. So um, this one, I'm actually in like a group on Facebook that's like a beauty group and so many people talk about this one so I was like okay I'll give this a whirl but let's go ahead and just squeeze a little bit out it's nice and thick <laughs> oh yeah it blends out easily doesn't feel heavy on the skin I can feel like the moisture yeah, so I think this will be a good one. Good one to test out at least. Um, and I'll probably use the whole thing. Okay, so let's see, what else do we have? Okay, I got another one of these. I've tried this before and I got it in the travel size before too. And the shade wasn't like super good so I didn't really ever use it under my eyes because it was too dark so I just used it on my face so I never really tried it under my eyes but this is the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer and I got this in Chantilly Light 1 so this is the lightest shade and I used it today under my eyes and it's already started separating and it's only been on for like an hour so I've just decided that this concealer is not a good under eye concealer for me my under eyes have just been so dry lately so I was like I'm gonna try something different and it just no nope, not for me unfortunately but I am going to keep that concealer. Um, I'll probably just keep it for like lighter days when I just throw a little bit of CC cream on. Um, and that'll just be kind of how I use it up. But like I said, it's just a travel size, so I'll go through it pretty quickly. 
Okay, the next thing that I'm very happy with is the Marc Jacobs Pout Liner. This is the Longwear Lip Pencil, and this is in the shade Cream and Sugar. I have it on my lips right now. It's all I have on my lips right now. Um, it's just beautiful. <laughs> it's so easy to apply. Um, it has like the twist up at the bottom so you don't have to sharpen it and it's just such a beautiful pinky nude shade i'm just gonna do a quick swatch for you guys on my hand so it just blends out beautifully but then it dries super matte so you don't have to worry about it transferring which is what i was worried about i thought it would be like it applies so creamy but it dries down and I was worried that it was going to stay creamy. But yeah, this is what it looks like just matte, but I just grabbed a gloss to put on top so you guys can see like what it would look like with a little bit of gloss. And this is just the Fenty Gloss Balm in Plessy, but so you could throw a gloss on top just to change it up a little bit if you wanted to, but it's just a beautiful color. Um, they have another color that's like in their nude shade that I might purchase. We'll see. <laughs> okay, um, I do have another lip product and that is the Natasha Denona I Need a Nude Lipstick. And you know I had to get this in the shade Andrea, but this is what it looks like and the weight of this lipstick is crazy like this is heavy packaging um but it's beautiful packaging like so pretty um and then i'll go ahead and just swatch this next to that lip liner so this is much more of like a less pink Slightly more orangey nude, um, but they're both kind of like that warm family. Um, you probably could get away with mixing the two of them together, but what I did the other day is I mixed this with um, Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Lip Liner and just kind of blended it together and it was a beautiful combination. So, um, I also was looking at the shade Maria, which was more of like the pinker version. Um, but I was like, I have to get Andrea first. It's my name. So, let's went with that one. Okay, next I have a pair of lashes. These are Lily Lashes. So these were actually on sale, um, like, without the coupon. And I have never tried a pair of Lily Lashes, I don't think. Um, and people talk about them all the time. So I was like, I'm going to get a pair. Test them out. So these are Lily Lashes in the shade, or in the style, royalty this is the light mink so let's go ahead and open them i can show you them better wow why do you not open how do you open <laughs> for real oh there's <laughs> here's a sticker Okay, please hold. There we go. Okay, there we go. So they do open the way that I thought they did. There is just a sticker. Okay, so this is what they look like. So nice and like long, but very, very light, very like natural looking. So I'm excited to test these out. I actually should have put these on today, but... I don't want to waste them for like an hour of filming, but these are very pretty. So excited to test those out. Um, I got another pair of lashes. Um, these are also by Lily Lashes and these are the style Sis. These are much more glamorous. 
but again, kind of natural. <laughs> They're very long compared to what I normally do, but I saw them and I was like, I kind of want to test them out. So we'll see how those are as well. Okay, then I got another perfume. I got the Chance Chanel. Um, I don't even know how to say this, so I'm just going to hold it up. But it's the um, Toilette Spray instead of the Parfum. And I think I want the Perfume one. The, the Eau de Parfum instead of the Toilette. But I don't know why I'm opening these. I can't smell them. But I think the... Man, how am I going to exchange this? Hopefully I get my sense of smell back. Um, by the time I'm out of quarantine. Because I think I want the t uh, perfume. But if I can't smell it... <laughs> I don't know. Okay. Anyway... Moving on to some samples. Uh, I got the IGK First Class Charcoal Detox Dry Shampoo. Um, I tested this out the other day and it worked really, really well. Um, it also gave me like texture. So um, excited to keep playing with this guy. Um, this I actually redeemed some points to get. Um, I have only really tried the IGK Beach Club spray, which is like their texturi texturizing spray that smells so, so good. Um, but I wanted to test something else out, and so I figured I'd try this guy out, and it worked really well, so. Okay, next I got some samples of the Rare Beauty Concealer. So we'll test probably the first two out or the only ones I'll be able to test. I guess I could use this as like a bronzer shade. So we'll test those out. I've heard mixed reviews about Rare Beauty, so we'll see. Um, and then I got a Bare Minerals card, the Complexion Res Rescue Tinted Hydrating Gel Cream. So... I think I'll be able to use the first two shades, so we'll test those out. Actually, nope, can't see them. Okay, and then I got a Innisfree. Uh, this is Intense Hydrating Serum with Green Tea Seed. So, all for intense hydration, so test that out. Okay, and then in my... Um, order that has not arrived yet. I got a couple of restocks and one more like I think bonus thing. So I got the Smashbox Primerizer. Um, I'll go ahead and get mine so I can show you guys what I got. Okay so I got a restock of the Smashbox Photo Finish Primerizer. Um, this is just like a moisturizer and primer in one. And I just shook it up, but you can see I only have like that much left in there. So um, since it was 20% off, I figured I'd just restock while I'm at it. Um, and then I got the two pack. So it's not going to be quite this big of a bottle, but I got the two pack of the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. Um, it's $42 for the two pack, which is a great deal. Um, plus I got the 20% off on top of that. And then I got a mini of the Marc Jacobs um, At Lashed Lengthening and Curling Mascara. I've heard really good things about it and it has really good reviews. So I got that in the mini size to test out um, and that was $14. Um, and then I just got a couple of samples. I got the makeup remover wipes from One Size, the um, Patrick Stars um, 
makeup line. And then I got a sample, a perfume sample, um, Flower Bomb Midnight, since I've never smelt the Midnight one. So I figured I'd test it out and hopefully by the time that arrives, I can smell it. <laughs> But um, what ha are you guys purchasing in the Sephora sale? Be sure to let me know in the comments section below. Thank you for watching. We'll see you in the next one.